Hi and welcome back to MRTV. As you can tell, today not from the MRTV headquarter, but from my home, from a very private setting here. That's something that normally only the members of the MRTV elite will see, the members of my Patreon. So first of all, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas, that you had some nice holidays and that you enjoy probably a few free days before the New Year's Eve party starts and we're all going to go hopefully to a better 2021. So what is this about this video? Well, I wanted to tell you something, something that I started on my German channel and yeah, that I simply want to let you know about. It's about the HP Reverb G2. I want to uncover a mystery <laughs> and this mystery has to do with the sweet spot of the HP Reverb G2 lenses because so many different people have so many different results. There are some people that think that the sweet spot is totally fine or even actually good. Like for example, I have this feeling for, for my lenses that there actually is a good and big sweet spot. But lots of other people say that the sweet spot is so small. It is super tiny and they totally dismiss the headset and send it back. So the big question is, why is that the case? What is the difference? And why do some people like the sweet spot? And why do some people do not like it at all? And I want to uncover this mystery. And to do so, I have just asked my German community to borrow me their G2 headsets, especially those who feel that their sweet spot is tiny and super small. Because I simply want to compare them in the MRTV headquarter. I want to find out, is the reason probably a variance in the production, like production variance, like some lenses are great and some are not so great and probably there hasn't been enough quality assurance to make sure that all the lenses are great or is it not the case and all the headsets are exactly the same all lenses are identical and it depends on the head shape perhaps on the distance from the eyes to the lenses because unfortunately the face gasket it is it seems that not a lot of people perfectly fit into it like for me i perfectly fit into it and it seems like this kind of face gasket was made for me, but lots of people don't have this kind of feeling and probably it's that or it is really that production variance or I got a super great model, which I would be really unhappy about if this is the case and all the other lenses are different. So I simply want to find out what is the matter because it's just so puzzling to me that I see so many people on Reddit and on, in comment sections and in video reviews say that they feel that their sweet spot is tiny. And as I told you, for me, that is absolutely not the case. So I simply have to get to the bottom of that. And yeah, that's why I'm starting this kind of test series. Again, I told the German community about it uh, like a, one hour ago and I asked them, to please borrow it to me, the people who live around my area here in Dortmund and also others who, who feel that it's a problem and uh, who are willing to send it to me. And I told them I'm going to pay for um, for the, the fee for sending it over and uh, I'm going to send it back to them as soon as possible. And I can tell you already in the first hour now, I got already, already five emails from people who want to borrow it to me. So it is going to happen. My goal is to get at least 10 G2s, G2s that have been bought in the normal way, like through Amazon or through the, the reseller here in Germany, Bestware. And yeah, I'm, I'm painstakingly going to compare the quality of the lenses of each of them. And I'm going to let you know what is my outcome once my investigation will have concluded sometime in January. So simply want, wanted to let you know. And if you know someone in Germany with the G2 and he's super unhappy about it, tell them about this video, tell them about what I'm doing here. Probably the person could also yeah, know about this and um, probably borrow their G2 to me. Yeah, that's what's what was really on my mind these days. As you can imagine, I'm really unhappy about this because I, 
I totally don't see this problem on my model. So I, I'm, I feel very unhappy that other people have this kind of problem. So let's get to the, to the bottom of this and let's find out what is the matter. All right, that's it for this short video from home. Yeah, I really hope that you still enjoy MRTV and what I'm doing here. If yes, give it a thumbs up, of course. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see you probably in the third episode of the Next Dimension podcast. Next Saturday, 3rd of January, it's going to happen again. And I'm looking forward to see you all there, hopefully. Until then, bye-bye.